Hi there. So you have a computer. It has Windows 10. You're the administrator, but you're locked out. What can you do? Nothing. But I do have some solutions for you, though. My name is Steve. This is TQA Weekly. And Windows 10, for all the nonsense that occurs, to its credit, still allows us, provided Windows works, duh, the ability to use the recovery mode to back up files using the command prompt, and it allows us to restore the computer back to a da factory default. In this case, I just finished fixing a computer where the administrator was locked out. And in this episode, you will learn some of the commands that I use to back up the files, and of course, restore the computer back to factory default. I just want you to understand a few things first. One, back up your files, because this would not be an issue if you'd simply backed up your files. Obviously, some of you may never experience a problem, but here's the thing. Computers can be stolen, houses can burn down. You need backups. You need backups locally, and you need backups off-site. So cloud drives and another hard drive that is not connected to your computer is absolutely good. And make sure that you have two kinds of technology, whether it be CDs and hard drives or something else, because not all technology will follow with time with us. So having at least an alternate will help. Second, because I know another person who had the tendency of doing this, remember, most issues are caused by you, okay? I don't wanna like, totally drop on you and say anything like really negative about it but the majority of problems are caused by users that are either intoxicated tired or lack the proper knowledge and those problems that are caused under these circumstances are harder to fix than bad hardware that was just installed and faulty software so if you are intoxicated or tired, please don't change anything in your computer. And if you don't know what you're doing, then don't do it. You will thank me later, whether you hate me right now or not. And third, remember, as long as Windows 10 works, you can use the recovery mode to restore to a previous date, provided you still had access to your administrator account, reset Windows, which of course only really works if you have access to the administrator account, or in the case of which you do not have any access to any account on the computer, you can do the factory restore, in which case you would lose all your files, which means having a data backup is important. And that being said, if you dig far enough, you can use the command prompt to transfer your files onto a USB key. And that is important because we will not be able to burn anything in this case. The way you will be accessing command prompt in Windows 10 without administrator access is simple, but I won't be demonstrating it for one very simple reason. Because it is so bloody simple to follow along that if I'm going too fast for you, just pause, okay? So, presuming you don't have access to the administrator account and you can load into Windows, I am presuming you are in the start screen. Hold down the shift key, click the power icon, then click restart. From there, you'll be brought to the restore options. Under restore options, go to troubleshoot, then advanced options, then select command prompt. The next part will have commands show up on the screen about here and I will be spelling out each of the commands and what they mean. So first, for the, from the command prompt, you can change the drive letter by writing something like C colon, C being the drive letter, okay? The second thing you need to understand is how to see a list of the files and folders in your current directory. You're going to use the directory command, which is very simple, three letters, it is D-I-R. It will show you everything in the current folder and any folders in the current folder. To access a folder, you will use the change directory command, 
and then the folder name, obviously. So it comes out to CD space, then the folder name as the command. If you want to get out of that folder, you use CD period period, and it'll bring you back. And you can go all the way down to the root directory in this way. Now, presuming that some of your folders might have a space in the name, you're going to use the following command to make your life easier. To copy files from one place to, let's say, the USB key that you installed, you will use the copy command, which is copy space quote folder name, whatever it is, end quote space and then the drive letter of your USB key and then colon and you will press enter. This will only copy files, not folders. So you will have to go to the next folder in each case. Now, to finish the process, because I know this is going to take you a long time. Once you are done to go back into the restore settings of Windows, the command to exit, I swear to God, this is simple, is exit. You type EXIT, enter. That's it. If you are not sure of whether or not that you saved all of the files that you need, don't do anything yet. Take the USB key to another computer and check because you can go back as many times as you need to go and hunt for your files and you will have to hunt for your files. Now to give you a hint, most of the files will be on the primary hard drive under a folder called users. So you would go CD on space users and then you would go CD space the name of the folder that contains your account. If you don't know what it is, when you are in a user directory, use the directory command, which is DIR, to tell you which one it is. And then in that case, you can go and use the CD space and then the name of your user account. And then you can see each of the folders that should be containing files of yours. Don't forget to check the desktop directory, pictures, documents, music, and videos. That way you have at least most of the files possible, unless you have saved them somewhere else in the computer. So if you like this episode, like it, dislike it if you didn't, share with those you think can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqwayweekly.com or go to my website, tqwayweekly.com, where you can see the show notes of this episode, past others, find other ways of subscribing and of course use the contact form to email me directly and of course you can comment down below and of course if you want to see me play video games such as Assassin's Creed Odyssey go to twitch.tv slash zaxis 1981 and the schedule is on that page thank you for watching and goodbye